be segment number four of Rodney's 200,000 view special on his channel. It's gonna be a jeopardy for the Wii. In which the bank has currently reached to almost 130,000. And this when I win, is jeopardy. Hope I win this game. Would I? Introducing today's contestant. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Let's go into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth two hundred to one thousand dollars in these categories: South Korea. Oh boy. Mountains. Yes. Literature. Okay. Colorful language. Woohoo. Pop culture. And the animal kingdom. Player one, make a selection, please. South Korea for well, two. With more than ten million people, it's the largest city in South Korea. Um. Player one. What? Use the Wii remote what or press seal? the corresponding direction on the plus button. That is correct. You get to pick again, player one. Literature for two. His ship was wrecked off an island near South America. He remained alone on the island for 28 years. We're talking about Robinson Crusoe. Nope. Never heard of him. Choose again, player one. Uh, let it... Uh, let it cheer for four. The Lilliputians called this Jonathan Swift character Quinbus Flestrin, which means Great Man Mountain. Here's what we wanted. Gulliver. Oh, okay. We return to you, player one. Call for language or two. Classified advertising section of the phone book listing subscribers by type of business. It's player one. What? What are yellow pages? Yes. <laughs> player one, pick again. Let's go with Animal Kingdom for 200. These animals of the order Chiroptera are the only mammals that can truly fly. What are birds? Yes, player one. Oh no, uh, bats. That's correct. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. Uh, mountains for two. The Hoosick Mountains are a range of these colorful mountains located in Vermont. Let's hear it, player one. What are the Green Mountains? You <laughs> Select again. Paw culture for two. Here's Kelly with the clue. Glasses with colored filters in each eye let you watch films in 3D. At the 2010 Grammys, the audience donned them for a montage from this performer's This Is It. Who is Michael Jackson? Yes, player one. That's right, way to go. You again, player one. Pop culture for four. In I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry, Kevin James weds this Hanukkah song guy at Niagara Falls. Um. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot. Here's the response we were looking for. Adam Sandler. Oh, I think of that. Ah. Uh, oh, well. Player one. Um, uh, colorful language for four. A karate kid may aspire to this high rank. Kuroi Ubi in Japanese. What is the black belt? Let's hear it, player one. You got it. Player one, back to you so for our next selection. South Korea for four. The 12th century book, Samguk Sagi, recounts the time when this religion came to Korea from India. Um... The correct response is Buddhism. Yeah, I kind of hunched a bat. 
We return to you, player one. Animal Kingdom, before. This feisty <laughs> Thai fish blows sticky bubbles to make a nest, then puts the eggs in its mouth and blows them in the nest. Ugh. Um... Here's the correct response. Fighting fish. Never do. Player one, pick again. Oh, that was before. Tenzing Norgay was one of the first two men to reach the summit of this mountain on May 29, 1953. Um. Here's the correct response. Mount Everest. All right. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Uh, pop culture for six. Michael C. Hall of Six Feet Under went to Showtime to play this homicidal title character. Uh, oh boy. Here's what we wanted. Dexter Morgan. Oh. You again, player one. Forgot about that. Uh, literature for six. Woo! It's the Daily Double. You are currently in the lead. Give us a wait for player one. Six hundred. And the Daily Double clue. In a Nathaniel Hawthorne tale, Thomas Mall built a house in Salem with seven of these. What are... Windows? Even so, you are still in the lead. Here's the correct response. Gables. Player one, back to you. Language for six. This fastest of dogs is one of the oldest breeds. Its likeness appears on an ancient Egyptian tomb. We're talking about the Greyhound. All right. Choose again, player one. South Korea for six. At the 2008 Summer Olympics, South Korea's Cha Dong Min won the heavyweight gold medal in this national sport. Okay, player one. Uh, what is Taekwondo? Good. <laughs> player one. You pick again. Six please. for Animal Kingdom. Muskrats and wood rats belong to this order of mammals. Um. Here's what we were looking for. Rodentia. Rodentia, oh, okay. You get to pick again, player one. Mountains are six. The Waianea Mountains in this U.S. state rise up to 4,025-foot Mount Kaala. What is... It's player one. Hawaii? That yeah. is correct. Select again. A Kafa language. The California National Park is named for this tallest living type of tree. Player one. What is the redwood? Please pick again. Pop culture for eight. In 1964, he topped the pop music charts with the title song from Hello Dolly. Oh boy. Okay, player two. Louis Armstrong? <laughs> Good. Player two, back to you. Pop culture for, for thousands. Selection. A two-time Oscar-winning actress, one of her first jobs was as the Coppertone Suntan Lotion Girl at age three in 1965. Player three? Helen Hunt. Nope. Sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? I would. Yes, player one. Jodie Foster? Right. You get to pick again, player South one. South Korea 8. This medicinal herb of the genus Panax is native to Korea.
Let's hear it, player three. Uzia? Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Nope. Uh... The correct response is ginseng. Oh, yeah, right, ginseng. Player one, you pick again, please. Let us for eight. Tom Sawyer told this girl, I don't care for anybody but you, then gave her a brass knob from an andiron. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Here's the correct response. Becky Thatcher. All oh, right. Great. You again, player one. Uh, allocated for eight. Kelly? If you see one of these under the sea, look, but don't touch. The spines can be poisonous. Oh, I don't think it's... <sighs> Here's the response we were looking for. The sea urchin. Oh, yeah. We return to you. Not for eight. The Caucasus Mountains of Eastern Europe are predominantly found in this country. Uh, Here's the correct response. Russia. Oh, yeah. Select again. Geological evidence shows that this 5,000-mile mountain chain may extend south into Antarctica. I think it was an iceberg, but I don't think so. The correct response is the Andes. Ah, uh, okay. Player one. Language with This colorful name for the U.S. Army Special Forces comes from their unique hats. It's player one. What are... The Green Barrettes. Yep. Choose again, player one. Literature for thousands. The Ministry of Truth is Oceania's propaganda department in this Orwell classic. Here's the response we were looking for. 1984. Oh, shoot. Please pick again, player one. Advocated for a thousand. Fruit and lizards, yum, are favorite foods of the Kowati, also known by this longer name. Here's what we were looking for, the Kowatamundi. Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. MacArthur thought the battle for this port would end the Korean War. Didn't work out that way. Here's the correct response. Incheon. The selection will be yours, Player 3, when we return from this break. And we have two daily doubles awaiting you in these categories. The short form. Okay. L.A. story. Ooh. Entertainment history. Oh, boy. American history. Oh, great. Mythical menagerie. Oh, great headaches. And P is for physics. Let's get oh, back great into this headaches now. You now. have control of the board. Bench presses build up the pecs. Short for these. I'll take a guess. Yes, player one. What are pedestals? <laughs> Player one. P again. for physics for four. It's the P in P equals force times velocity. I think I got this. It's player one. What are um, pressure? Uh, ah, sh crap. Any other takers? I think it's um, potential. We're talking about power. Oh, power. All oh, right, right, right. You get to pick again, player one. Um, phases for eight. This element, PU, was first detected in a cyclotron at Berkeley in 1940. 
Let's hear it, player one. What is plutonium? Or is platinum? Platinum? Uh, yeah, I think it's plutonium. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Ah. Uh, Here's what we wanted. Plutonium. I knew it. I had a hunch. Select again. Short four for eight. The Random House Historical Dictionary of American Slang has an 1896 citation of diff, D-I-F-F, -F, as short for this. Oh, I think it's different. Player one. Difference? Player one. Um, and let me take entertainment history for four. Born William Claude Dukenfield, he took this last name as his stage name. Shakespeare? Okay, player one. Oh no. Um William Claude Dukenfield Marks. No, sorry. I had no clue. I Anyone? thought it was Shakespeare, but no. Player two. Fields. Right you are. We return to you, player two. This is for 12. Oh, come on! Ah. Answer. The first of the Daily Double. You're in second place, so what is your wager going to be? 700. Would be the glue. A cube is an example of a rectangular one of these. A Pink Floyd cover displays a triangular one. What is prism? Right. <laughs> you again, player two. Sissy for physics. The bob of a simple one of these moves with simple periodic motion. Yes, player three. The plumb line? No, that's not right. That's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Okay, player one. What? It's the pendulum. Good for you. Player one. Uh, let's you go with again, uh, Ellie's story for four. Sam the Eagle was created by the Disney Company for this event held in Los Angeles in 1984. Oh, boy. Let's hear it, player one. What? It's... Olympics? Woo! Right. Player one, pick again. Um, uh, Mexico Mangere for four. Nessus, one of these half-horse creatures, Tried to abduct Hercules' wife. Big mistake. I think it's a chariot. It's player one. Or what is a centaur? Yes. Ah! Choose again, player one. American history for four. When the British approached, the Concord militia didn't know about the skirmish at this place earlier that day. Um... Yes, player one. I think it's, um... Boston? Sorry. That's wrong. Any other takers? Oh, it could be Bunker Hill. Here's the response we were looking for. Lexington. Oh... Player one, back to you for our next selection. Uh, Mexico Monday for eight. Every 500 years or so, this bird was reborn from its own ashes. It's player two. To Phoenix. Yes. <laughs> Please pick again, player two. Eight for history. World War I sales of Liberty V's, whose posters showed the statue, raised more than 15 billion dollars.
Okay, player two. Bites. That's yeah. correct. You get to pick again, player two. Twelve. Answer, <laughs> the second daily double. You are currently in second place. Nice. How much are you going to wager? Player two. Here is your daily double clue. You didn't want to make the mistake of following the south instead of the north plant on this pioneer trail. What is the Epaphysis Trail? Oh, sorry. No. We're talking about the Oregon Trail. That's what I'm looking for. Player two, back to you. History for, for 16. The U.S. supplied material to its allies during World War II through this 1941 Congressional Act. Oh, I forgot what's that called. Here's the correct response. Lend-lease. lend, -lease. lend oh, okay. Player two, back to you. Finish off for 2000. Here's Kelly from our Clue Crew with the clue. This World War II General's private carriage is on display at Wisconsin's National Railroad Museum. Here's what we were looking for. Dwight Eisenhower. Oi! You again, player I had a hunch. Medical for 12. The first of Hercules' twelve labors was to slay the Nemean this. Afterwards, he wore its skin. Ugh. Player three? Lion? Hey, you're right. <laughs> We return to you, player three. Monterey for 16. It wasn't hard for this Lernaean serpent to get ahead. Every time one of its heads was cut off, two grew in its place. Look. Oh, boy. Let's hear it. Player two. Hydra? Yes. I was trying to tell she at that. Player two, you pick again, Finish please. off with 2,000. She was a beautiful nymph before she was turned into a sea monster. Doomed to live in a cave opposite Charybdis. Player one? Uh, who is... Chimera? No. Oh. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. Scylla. Scylla. Okay. Select again. LA Story for eight. Microphones, TV sets, masks, phonographs, and movie cameras symbolize Star's specialties on its walk of fame. Let's hear it, player one. What is Hollywood Boulevard? <laughs> That's right. Way to go. Choose again, player one. Entertainment history for eight. Dance style of Brothers and Kennedy Center honorees, Fayard and Harold Nicholas. What? Yes, player two. Tap? Right. <laughs> player two, pick again. 2000 physics. It's an elementary light particle, also called a fuzzy ball. Okay, player one. What is a photon? You got it. Please pick again, player Shuffle one. Shuffle for 12. Rad, meaning excellent, was truncated from this. It's player one. What is radical? Yes, yeah. correct. Player one, you can LA Story for 12. This school is the oldest private university in California and the largest private employer in Los Angeles. Oldest pro. The correct response is USC. Nope, never heard of it. You again, player one. History for 12. In vaudeville, Jerry, Helen, Josephine and George M. were the four of these. Uh. 
Here's what we wanted. The Cohans. Choose again, player one. Sissy, short for. The Cosmo girl doesn't just look good, she can have a convo. Short for this. What is conversation? Yes, player one. Yeah. That is correct. Player one, pick again. And to be history for 60. Rochester. Did you know that in 1953, Harry Shearer played this comic as a boy on his self-titled TV program? The correct response is Jack Benny. No. Please pick again. Ellie Storff, 16. An observatory and a park in Los Angeles are named not for a birth of a nation director, but rather a colonel with this surname. Let's hear it, player one. What? It's Mikata? Oh. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the correct response. Griffith. Oh, Griffith. We return to you, Two one. one of the perks of my job is knowing that perk, meaning a benefit, is short for this. Here's the correct response. Perquisite. You get to pick again, player one. Kathy Lewis was this title character paired with Fibber McGee on a 50s TV show based on a hit radio show. Oh, shoot. Uh, Here's the response we were looking for. Molly. Molly, okay. And now the $2,000 clue. Docents at L.A.'s Page Museum are in a sticky situation. La Brea means this substance in Spanish. Player two. Tar. Good. Sorry, player three. Looks like you will not be continuing on to Final Jeopardy. Here's today's Final Jeopardy category. Military men. Oh, boy. Please enter your wager. 69.50. You know what? I'll just go for... Uh, that's 14,000. So I bought 6,000. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. This is a good category. Here's the clue for you. Books about this American are subtitled Warrior as Wordsmith and The Far Eastern General. Oh boy. If I get this wrong, now pretty screwed. Oh boy. What did you put as your response? Douglas MacArthur? How much do you add <laughs> your total with that correct response? 1455 gives us a total of 8405. What did you say? I said Douglas MacArthur as well. With that wow! correct response, you will gain $6,000, giving us a total of $14,400. Well, this makes you our I new champion, player one. So congratulations. So long, everybody. Hey, at least I tried my best to win a game for you, Rodney. An additional 14400 gave us a total of $143,600.
And there is one more segment that I'm going to do. Where would it be, you might ask? Watch this next segment and you'll see it for yourself. <laughs> 